Hello wonderful person and welcome to our galaxy. Welcome to the Milky Way. But today we're actually going to be talking about something different. We're going to be talking about the smallest galaxy we've discovered so far, not so far away from our own galaxy. And I'm going to actually build it in Universe Sandbox and give you an idea of how small it really is. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. And the galaxy we're going to be talking about is known as Segway 2 Dwarf Galaxy. It's actually very, very tiny. It contains only about a thousand stars. In comparison to the Milky Way, it contains close to about 400 billion stars. And uh, it's actually not very far from us. Well, in terms of astronomical terms, we're going to create this from scratch because it's actually... It's a galaxy that's kind of hard to find. It doesn't exist in this game. It doesn't exist in Space Engine. And we will need to basically create it by ourselves from scratch. All right, let's pick a black hole that's not too big, not too small, maybe about 10,000 masses of the sun. And we're going to place it at a distance where um, this particular galaxy is located. So this is going to be only approximately 114,000 light years away. So somewhere around here. So we're going to place it right here. It's actually not in this particular region of space, but this is just to make it a little bit easier. We're also going to now zoom in here and change this black hole, making it a little bit less massive. So let's, let's make it about, I don't know, like 900-ish masses of the sun. This is going to be called Segway 2 Dwarf Galaxy. Now, this particular galaxy is interesting for many reasons. One of those reasons is because we were actually looking for galaxies like this for quite a while, since they um, kind of showed to us how the universe was created, and um, when we look at the models of universe creation, uh, theoretically these galaxies should be created as well. And we finally discovered one a few years ago, and it's not very far from our own galaxy, the Milky Way. It's actually uh, technically located somewhere underneath the Milky Way, but I decided to place it side by side just to make it easier on the eyes and easier to compare. So how are we going to add um, stars to it? Because this is obviously a galaxy that needs to have stars. So first of all, we know that this galaxy contains something around uh, like thousand or so stars. It's not, not that many. And because it's classified as a dwarf spheroidal galaxy, also known as DSPH, um, all of the stars here are going to be in a kind of a spherical formation. So they're not actually as flat as our own galaxy. These are all going to be spherical. So we're going to go into rings here and we're going to place um, a manually generated ring system around this particular object. And here's what we're going to click. We're going to click this button. This will create bodies. We're going to create thousand bodies, which will be our stars. And we're also going to make it uh, so that the mass will actually depend on the total mass of this galaxy, uh, of this black hole, actually. Uh, now, what we need to do is change the shape to sphere. And this will fill the sphere. It will be random, randomly generated sphere. All right, cool. Let's see how this works. Actually, no, wait, radius. Let's make sure that it's placed far enough from this galaxy because we don't want it to be too close. The actual diameter, or I guess the radius of this galaxy, is uh, relatively big. It's uh, something about uh, something around like 34 parsec, which is approximately 115-ish light years. Uh, but we're going to make it just a little bit smaller. Well, actually, we're not going to go that far. We're going to make it maybe, I don't know, just like a few light years across. So here we go. Boom. And the game suddenly slowed down to a crawl. All right, so at least we were able to create this galaxy. Look at that. A thousand stars. Whoa, this is crazy. It's, my, I actually for a second thought my game crashed. Um, but this is essentially what it would look like. Maybe, okay, maybe not this dense. This is a little bit too dense. So each of these little stars represents um, a tiny star inside Segway 2. And I think I placed them a little bit too close to each other. So I may have to actually, um, I may have to place them a little bit farther away. But for now, this will actually do. Uh, what I want to do, though, I actually want to 
remove all the labels and maybe decelerate this a little bit and yeah this didn't really help at all it's still super super slow but essentially this is what uh, this particular galaxy looks like and it's very very dim it's very difficult to see and we we found it completely by accident um, using one of the um, infrared telescopes uh, maybe a few years ago when we were looking for other objects near our sun, near our solar system that may actually have very bright infrared exposure, but not very bright um, visual exposure. And so this was how we found this particular galaxy. This was during the Sloan Digital Sky Survey uh, back in 2009. So I guess you get the idea of what this looks like in terms of size and also in terms of uh, the distance from our own galaxy, the Milky Way. So maybe let's actually start a new simulation, make this a little bit more manageable on my computer. We're not going to make thousands of stars. Let's make maybe a hundred. Another manually generated Segway 2 galaxy, this time with a slightly more realistic distance. Um, and let me see if this worked. Yeah, okay, so these are all mass, uh, uh, one mass of the sun. And if I were to zoom out, you would actually see that uh, this time, this is actually a lot more realistic in terms of the actual size and the spread, but we only have a hundred stars here. So I can maybe place a few more until my computer starts struggling. So let's place a few more. This is 200, 300. Okay, good, 400, 500. Okay, I can do 500. This is not too bad. The frame, uh, frame rates per second is around 30 right now. This is perfect. So um, all of them are called moon because that's the way that this game generates um, random objects. But you can see that all of them are actually stars, very similar to our sun in, uh, in parameters. Basically, it's one mass of sun. And if I were to kind of maybe remove the labels again, you would see that it looks pretty cool, actually. So you, can, you don't really see them just yet, but if I select all of them, or I guess if I just select them individually, they actually start appearing. There they are. There's 500 of them here, and maybe we can make them a little bit more visible by doing this. And look at that. Here we go. So here is an example of essentially a, um, a spherical dwarf galaxy. This is what they all look like. It's a bunch of stars um, around a somewhat massive, but not super massive black hole right in the middle. And right in there, right in the center, we can probably find this beautiful black hole that's surrounded by all of these beautiful stars. So this is what Segway 2 might actually look like from the center, from within the actual galaxy. But what's really interesting about this particular galaxy is that its actual mass is close to about 550,000 solar masses, which suggests that one is that these stars that are in this particular galaxy are really old and really massive, and two is that the actual black hole is a lot more massive as well. So this is not a truly realistic representation of Segway 2. Um, the other thing is that there is no more stellar generation here. In other words, new stars are not being created. So this is technically what you would call a dead galaxy. It can only start creating stars again if it collides with another smaller or I guess bigger galaxy. And then some of this gas combines into other gas and stellar generation will resume again. But for now, it's actually that galaxy with very um, old ancient stars that are close to about 12 billion years old. Many of these are very um, metal poor, meaning that they don't probably have any planets. They don't have any objects that are not made of hydrogen and helium. And so for all we know, there's very likely to be very few planets here, very few colonizable, habitable planets, very few objects that might be interesting to us. But it definitely explains to us how the universe was made, and it definitely shows us a little bit about um, how our universe and how our galaxy were created. And the other thing about this galaxy is that we know that it's technically bound by dark matter, so it's possible that a lot of its mass, if not most of its mass, is actually dark matter. And so many of these stars could actually be a lot smaller than uh, what I've created here. And even the black hole could be smaller. So most of this mass, for all we know, might actually be dark matter, which unfortunately I can't really add in the game, but you can kind of imagine that it's all bound together by dark matter. And anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I wanted to create this unusual, beautiful galaxy known as Segway 2. And just for fun, let's actually maybe decelerate time a little bit and place um, our own Milky Way right next to it, just so you can actually see 
once again what it looks like in comparison to the Milky Way. So there is Segway 2 and we're going to go into Galaxies. And okay, Milky Way is not here, but we have Andromeda Galaxy. So let's place Andromeda right next to it and look at look at how tiny it is in comparison to Andromeda. Andromeda Galaxy has close to about a trillion stars, whereas Segway 2 has only about a thousand. So there you go. There they are. My computer has slowed down to a crawl once again. And so this is how tiny it is. It's even smaller than some of the global, global clusters, star clusters that we have in our own uh, galaxy. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to come back tomorrow to watch another video and learn something else. And don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who might enjoy learning through video games. And anyway, space out. And as always, bye bye. And before we stop, let's actually see if we can potentially stop all velocities and initiate some sort of a supernova just for fun. Will it happen? Will something happen? Will we destroy some stars or not? Okay, it looks like nothing is happening because this will actually take too long. So let's just explore a few of these for fun and create artificial supernovas. And here they come. Whoa, this is beautiful. And a little bit too slow for my computer again. Look at these fireworks. Absolutely incredible.